Not long ago, somebody messaged me and asked if it was possible to create a dotted line using the S-shaped nodes. So what I ended up doing was just going into Fusion and trying a couple of things out. And it turns out it's not exactly possible, but it is a little bit, it is possible, but not quite, right? So this is what I ended up doing. I had this polygon here and it has an animation. If you don't have an animation here, then it's not going to work because we need to have the duplicate taking the time for this, right? Then we have the extrude node that's fitting them because what they wanted was to be able to use the extrude nodes on these dots, right? So basically like a 3D dotted line. And then I have these merge node and so that we have a little bit more control in the 3D space. And then I use the duplicate with at time offset so that it creates a different copies. Now this makes it dependent on having an animation. If it doesn't have an animation, then this duplicate offset or the time offset doesn't work and we don't have the repeating lines. And it does look interesting. It can work somehow, but it's not quite what they were looking for. And they mentioned a few tutorials by one of them by William Justice and the other one by CB Sopper. I'm going to link those tutorials. I'm not sure if they actually, I can't remember right now if they linked the tutorials, but they just mentioned that they did them. And one of them had basically done a dotted line using a text node. And the other one was using a paint node and also a polygon as a mask. That way they will connect. And then you have all these little dots that are adjustable. Now, I'm not sure if they actually made a little plugin that you could use when they created those tutorials, but it gave me the idea to try it out and I ended up trying it out. So I think it was on this fusion composition that I ended up experimenting. You can see here, I run a couple of different experiments using in time instances and like a couple of different things. It was a little bit crazy, but it ended up not really working. And this is what ended up working for the actual line. It's not able to have the 3d uh extrude unless let me just try something yeah i can't really connect these lines to the extrude unless we have i basically can only connect them to the extrude as a what do you call that um as the material input basically like as a texture on top of it right so if we press two right here we have these working there, but if I actually extrude things, then it just creates the same issue that I mentioned on the extrude 3D video that I did. So you can check that one out there. And yeah, so that's, that's not the point of this video, right? Now, let me interrupt this video for a little bit. I just wanted to mention that if you want or need split screens for your projects, make sure to check out the split screens pro toolkit that I have, which has 250 split screens for now and also there's a demo version that you can download so check that out if you're interested and if you think that's going to help you on your projects now let's continue now i actually wanted to create a really cool more interesting intro for this video like with these animation stuff let me just show you real quick uh because it was like right after the 60 days challenge and then it was just like i was meditating on top of a mountain and then i got the message but uh, to be honest, that was, that was going to take so much time and I wanted to get this video done, right? So unfortunately, the little show, it's going to have to wait for another video. But yeah, so let me just show you already what I created, which is the 3D, not 3D, but the dotted line plugging or generator effect. So if you go to the effects tab and go to generators and then Suave, this is after you install it and find it for free on the Suave store in the freebie section, then you have this little generator that you can add on top of anything basically like this and if you go to the fusion viewer you're able to move a couple of things let me how do i make this bigger there it goes i changed the overlay so that not the overlay i changed the ui so that it's a lot easier for you to see it so i'm not used to it being this big Right, so if you wanted to change the gradient, for example, you move this a little bit like this, and then you're able to change the gradient colors, right? And what happens is that if you move your dots right here, like that, you can add more points and then move them like that, for example, get rid of these, whoops, not all of them. What is going on? All right, I can't really do much of the, <laughs> I can't really change that much of the 
like actual older elements without it deleting it but you get what i'm saying right you can change a couple of things here right from the edit page if you want to make a circle for example you can select them all then right click and then go to create ellipse rectangle and arrow which is a new thing that just came out not long ago and i haven't made a video on it yet but it's really cool and then if you create that and you have a perfect well not quite perfect there it goes then you have a circle that you can use if you check the inspector these are the couple of things that you can adjust and change and if you click up here you can then see these as a group in the fusion tab now the reason why i did these as a group is so that you can later on use it inside fusion as well right and this is not going to be the exact final version there was a little tweaking that i did for the next thing that i'm going to show you which was uh adding the ability to track two points maybe more in uh with a tracker on top of like a moving video right because usually if you wanted to make a map animation you would do it with an image right and i found this stock video of a map and i wanted to see if it was possible to create the animation of with both points being tracked that's what i did all right so and here you can see this path if we get rid of one of the points if you don't want to get rid of point one and two you can right click and then go to polyline and then say point numbers so shift t after you have selected them to that you can see the points and that way you have point zero and two and that's going to be important because of, i will show you in a little bit right um but yeah you have these little points right here that you can then change and adjust press shift s if you want to get rid of the circle move things and the points are basically gonna be following the line right and also if you want to change these point from circles to rectangle you can do that but they're not gonna be perfect because of the angle of the line sometimes it has to be a really straight line for the rectangles to be perfect if you have add a little bit of a curvature or like these curvature then the line itself basically takes on the curvature right so but that's just part of what you want to part of like what you have to deal with and then you can make this bigger like that which is the border width and then if you increase the size here it's basically the size of the mask that you're gonna use now there was a little issue here that for some reason when you were able to like change the brush shape if you move the size here on the circle it changed but then when you move to rectangle it didn't want to change it so what you had to do here is go to the paint node and then here in the modifiers you have to select rectangle and then move the size from there if you want to make these bigger or change the size of it it's a little bit weird and tricky but for some reason it was getting stuck when doing that right then if you want to adjust the spacing you can do that here as well and basically just play around with the different values that you see here and then you can just close this like that if you want to now before this video becomes extremely long let me just show you this map that i did which was we have this tracker right here and then it was traveling from british columbia i think it's called british columbia right all the way to mexico and then it does that so let's open this fusion composition and let me show you what i did we have this tracker right here which tracks two points i added one tracker up here and then it was tracked there and then i also added another tracker right here that was tracking the mexico line basically well it's not shown on screen right now but you see what i'm talking about it's right here okay so we have this tracker right here so you already know how to track if you're not sure about how to track all you have to do is add a tracker and then just click it right there and then press track and then that will track some things i think i do have a tracking tracking tutorial on the channel so just find it somewhere in there probably and then what i did here is i created this generator obviously so that you can also use it in fusion so when you go to generators then you can find these as well and what you want to do if you are gonna use it in sort of like in this style connecting it to something else to another clip is you want to get rid of these media out because sometimes when there's two media outs they both basically fight for the 
podium basically uh, is that a thing that you i don't know i don't know if you could say that but anyways basically they both fight to be on screen and then that bugs things out and they're both it's in the screen flickers and from one of to the other basically so just select that one and delete it and then it should be fine and then you just connect this to a merge node or the actual tracker if you want but i did this with a merge node because if we press 2 right here we have this line let's see the video all right and then i have the main point of the path here i created this point 0 and point 1 if you create more points you can right click on them and then publish them and at first it was freaking out because this paint node which is the one that controls the actual line shapes and all that stuff uh, was connected to this path so that they're not disappearing right but i use a little modifier which is called a custom poly modifier so i right click and then custom poly and then on this custom poly you go to polyline and right click right here and then connect this one to the path basically it will show up like this connect to path and then value then when you move things around you it's not gonna break like that well not move things around but when you add this to a tracker because if you want to connect these points to a tracker these would freak out so that was the only workaround around that right so then after your tracking is done you would just right click and then connect this to tracker one and then connect this other one to the tracker three tracker two sometimes i don't know why it went to three but not two anyways and then your line will be tracked then what i did was i created a write on animation so if you leave it like that it will just be a complete line but this still has this little little movement right and i didn't quite like that but i think because of the footage being a little bit shaky right so if your footage is stabilized then you can probably do this with without so much movement then what you want to do is create just this little line animation by using the right on go all the way until you see mexico right here and then do that all the way to one and then before it disappears off screen what i did i just did a little bit like that and brought this all the way there you can leave these without the outro animation basically as well i just thought it would look better with that because of the little movement that continuously happens right it's not a quite uh still movement of the line and then if you want after you have that line animation there you can add a drop shadow there see and adjust the distance maybe and the blur and the angle depending on how or the camera looks right and then if you press play right here you can see these little line and you can also adjust this line but sometimes it will actually freak out if i move this like that so you just have to take into account that if the line keeps moving a little bit so it's not staying like the actual roads for example right then it might look a little bit weird but if you're working with a still image this is a lot simpler so you just add the line in one point and the other one and then you move the whole thing with that transform node for example so that there's a little bit more movement if you want i can make another tutorial on that on the next video that way this one doesn't go too long but that is basically how you can use this little line generator that i created and that you can find for free on the swabby website here is that line again and it looks pretty cool and then here you have the generator that you can use to create maybe like indicate things or highlight things on a specific video and stuff like that this is what i created and i wanted to share it with you all hopefully it helps if it does help or if you have any other ideas let me know and i will keep you guys updated now a quick little update on the paper clash effect it's almost ready but not quite i still have to create the masks on two of them the thing with these masks is that they take hours like i'm telling you it's so crazy how much time they take like i i think the other day i spent three hours only on one because i had to move so many points and yeah it's definitely gonna save you a ton of time if you end up getting it but that's basically the value added you will you'll save so many hours if you end up using these on your videos but yeah it's being built it's coming out hopefully sooner than later 
definitely before next year maybe in november let's let's try to set the goal to be in november so that way i have a deadline and i have to accomplish it but yeah so that is it that is a little update on the clash or the paper clash effect and that is it for this video make sure to download the line generator and i'll see you in the next one